Ebola virus and Marburg virus. The Ebola virus and the Marburg virus are related to viruses that can cause hemorrhagic fevers. This is marked by severe bleeding, bleeding, organ failure and, in most cases, death. Both strains are born in Africa, where small outbreaks occur decades. The Ebola virus and the Marburg virus live in animal habitats. Humans can get the virus from infected animals. After the first transmission, the virus can spread from person to person through contact with body fluids or contaminants such as infected needles. No drug is approved to treat the Ebola virus or the Marburg virus. People diagnosed with the Ebola virus or the Marburg virus receive supportive care and treatment for complications. One vaccine is approved for the Ebola virus. Scientists are researching alternative vaccines for these deadly diseases. Symptom signs and symptoms suddenly begin within 5 to 10 days of infection with the Ebola virus or the Marburg virus. Early signs and symptoms include Fever a headache physical pain cold weaknesses over time. Symptoms become more severe and may include Nausea and vomiting diarrhea, may be bloody, red eyes suggested explosion chest pain and cough sore throat abdominal pain significant weight loss harm bleeding, usually from the eyes, and near death possible bleeding in the ears, nose, and part of the body bleeding inside causes Ebola virus has been found in African monkeys, chimpanzees, and other non-human nests. A milder Ebola virus has been found in monkeys and pigs in the Philippines. Marburg virus is found in monkeys, chimpanzees, and fruit bats in Africa. Transmission from animals to humans experts suspect that both viruses are transmitted to humans through the body fluids of an infected animal. Examples include Blood Killing or eating infected animals can spread the virus. Scientists who operated on infected animals as part of their study also contracted the virus. Waste products Tourists in some African caves and other underground miners have become infected with the Marburg virus, either through contact with feces or urine of infected bats. Transfer from person to person people with the Ebola virus or the Marburg virus usually do not infect each other until they have symptoms. Bacteria can spread through blood, body fluids, or contaminants such as bedding, clothing, or needles. Family members may be infected as they care for ailing relatives or prepare a grave for the dead. Medical personnel may become infected if they do not use special protective equipment that attaches them from head to toe. There is no evidence that the Ebola virus or the Marburg virus could be transmitted by insect bites. Risk factors for many people, the risk of contracting the Ebola virus or the Marburg virus is low. The risk increases if Traveling to Africa You are at high risk if you are visiting or working in areas where Ebola virus has occurred or a Marburg outbreak. Do animal research Humans are more likely to be infected with the Ebola virus or the Marburg virus if they do research on animals and monkeys imported into Africa or the Philippines. Provide medical or personal care. Family members are often infected as they care for sick relatives. Medical personnel may also become infected if they do not use special protective equipment covering the area from head to toe. Arrange for people to be buried. The bodies of people killed by the Ebola virus or the Marburg virus are still contagious. Helping prepare these bodies for burial can increase your risk of infection. Problems both the Ebola virus and Marburg lead to the deaths of many people affected. As the disease progresses, germs can cause. Many physical failures heavy bleeding jaundice delirium fainting coma shock another reason why germs kill so much is that they disrupt the body's immune system. But scientists do not understand why some people recover from the Ebola virus and the Marburg virus while others do not. For surviving people, recovery is slow. It can take months to regain weight and strength, and the germs remain in the body for weeks. People can find Hair loss critical changes hepatitis weaknesses fatigue headache swelling of the eyes inflammation of the testicles prevention prevention focuses on avoiding contact with viruses. The following precautionary measures can help prevent the spread of the Ebola virus and the Marburg virus. Avoid areas of known disease. Before heading to Africa, find out about existing epidemics by checking out the Center for Disease Control and Prevention website. Wash your hands often. Like other infectious diseases, one of the most important ways to prevent frequent handwashing. 
Use soap and water, or use alcohol-based handcuffs that contain at least 60% alcohol when soap and water are not available. Avoid meat in the wild. In developing countries, avoid buying or eating wild animals, including puppies, which are sold in local markets. Avoid contact with infected people. In particular, caregivers should avoid contact with the body fluids and tissues of an infected person, including blood, semen, vaginal fluids, and saliva. Also, avoid clothing, bedding, or other items that may touch. People with the Ebola virus or Marburg virus become more infected in the later stages of the disease. Follow infection control procedures. If you are a healthcare worker, wear special protective equipment that covers you from head to toe. Keep infected people isolated from others. Throw the needles safely and clean some of the metal. Do not handle residues. The bodies of people killed by the Ebola virus or the Marburg virus are still contagious. Specially organized and trained teams should bury the remains, using appropriate safety equipment. Vaccination Approval and Research Development The U.S. The Food and Drug Administration FDA, recently approved an Ebola vaccine. It is given as a single dose and is found to be effective and safe to use. Another Ebola vaccine has been developed and used in the Democratic Republic of Congo in a research study. It requires two doses, taken for 56 separate days. Scientists continue to work on various vaccines that will protect people from Ebola blood and Marburg blood. The research is ongoing. Ebola virus and Marburg virus diagnosis The Ebola virus and the Marburg virus are difficult to diagnose because the early signs and symptoms are similar to other diseases, such as typhoid and malaria. When doctors suspect that you have the Ebola virus or the Marburg virus, they use a blood test to quickly identify the virus, including immunosorbent testing, ELISA, reverse transcriptase polymerase chain reaction, PCR, treatment no antiretroviral drugs have been shown to be effective in treating Ebola or Marburg infections. Supporting hospital care includes providing fluid maintaining blood pressure provide oxygen as needed instead of lost blood to treat other growing diseases preparing for your appointment the risk of contracting the Ebola virus or the Marburg virus is very low unless you have direct contact with the body fluids of a human or an infected animal. If you think you or a family member may have been exposed to one of the germs, Call your doctor or go to the nearest emergency room immediately. If you can be referred to an infectious disease specialist, ask to see us. If you are from the United States and are traveling or working abroad, the nearest U.S. Embassy can help you find a doctor. If you are from another country, contact your country's embassy. Be sure to tell your doctor or hospital about your symptoms before your visit so that steps can be taken to prevent the transmission of the virus to others. What you can do prior to your appointment, to help your doctor determine the cause of your symptoms, write a list that answers the following questions. What are your symptoms? When did they start? Have you recently visited Africa? If so, what part? If you have just arrived in Africa, have you ever hunted or eaten monkeys? Have you recently visited African caves or underground mines? Are you employed on a board that uses monkeys from Africa or the Philippines in research? If possible, go with a family member or friend. Sometimes it can be difficult to remember all the information you have been given at the hospital or during the appointment. The person traveling with you may remember something that you missed or forgot.